I'm Fiona and welcome to Technology Around. What are we doing here today Fiona? Well this is the first in a series of videos about Blu-ray technology and building a media centre that has Blu-ray capability. Now who's building this system? Well I guess we're kind of doing it together and filming it together and okay. taking turns with bits. Okay, but it was, it was John's idea and it's a good idea. Um, there's not really that much information out there about Blu-ray technology and putting it into PCs. Yeah, it's been a nightmare looking for information on the internet about uh, PCs and Blu-ray and Blu-ray yeah. devices and even Blu-ray technology in general. There was a lot of stuff I saw at, uh, at CES earlier on in the year talking, talking about BD Live and all sorts of other stuff. Yeah, which um, was great promotion I think but it was also yeah. stuff that's not coming out until later in the year really. Well it was meant to be out by now and all these DVDs which we've got sitting here on the table, most of them were meant Blu-ray discs, not DVDs. Yeah, they're, they're <laughs> Blu-ray discs. Okay. All these Blu-ray discs that we've got sitting here on the table were meant to have some of this latest cool technology which yeah, doesn't exist. Yeah, Live actually is what yeah, talking doesn't about. doesn't exist yeah. yet, yeah. So we want to look at um, the, t the benefits of building a system yourself, the cost benefits. We know that Blu-ray has really not been taken up that uh, great in the, in the market at the moment, has it? It's well, I think um, it's, it, it will though, that's the thing. I mean, HD DVD is pretty much dead. Well, the that's only just recently happened. So the standard's only really recently been set, so people are kind of scared about what to take up and what not to take up. Yeah, which is fair enough. And also the players were so expensive. So yeah, yeah. you wouldn't and really risk your money on buying a $700 player right. when you're not quite sure whether that's really going to be the, the disc standard that you can get. I do imagine on. a lot of people got burnt in the whole HD DVD thing as well. So it's pretty scary. Possibly. So, so people might be a little bit gun shy at the moment. But, um, yeah, but I mean, the point is, if you build a media centre that has a BD-ROM drive in it, mm -hmm. it's actually far more cost effective because you get a lot more out of it. You can play DVDs on it, you can use an MP3 player, you mm -hmm. can use it for gaming, it could be in a teenager's bedroom or it could mm -hmm. be in a lounge room. So we're, we're going to build a normal PC that actually yeah. has Blu-ray capabilities and media centre capabilities, that's Correct. right, yeah? Correct. So it's not just a Blu-ray player, it's a complete yeah. media centre with Blu-ray functionality. And in all honesty, the, the drive is a lot cheaper than I expected. Yes. So uh, things like two hundred dollars US for the, the BD ROM drive now. Yeah. So it comes out right. a lot. Yeah. And so it's, it's serial ATA too. Right. So it just plugs into your SATA connection on any motherboard. Yeah. So it should be yeah. quite a bit faster than some of the old DVD ROM drives as well. And you've got a whole stack of video cards over here as well. Well, yeah. Not all video cards will support the Blu-ray playback. You actually need the Blu-ray decoder thing in, in the drivers and. And you need the also you need the player support for that particular video card so as well. So do the players tend to come with the video cards, or do you get them kind of separately? Some right. so we'll, we we got one player with the the BD ROM drive, and we've got another player oh, with okay. the video card. So. so that will only work with Sony discs, is that right? Or no, no, all, no? all discs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so there's only one standard as far as Blu-ray is concerned. So, but we'll be looking at all that type of stuff and explaining it to you, looking at the pros and cons from everything. Power supplies, video cards, the amount of RAM you use, how right. much hard drive, sp uh, hard drive and space you have. And the case too. The case, all yeah. sorts of different cases you can get to suit a living room to mm. kind of blend in with your other devices. And we're going to look at uh, noise levels as well. You don't want a big wheel and PC yeah, sitting yeah. down here. So you have tested this a little bit so far. Yes. Is it, is it noisy? Not at all. It's right. actually very silent playing. It will no louder than the DVD player in the okay. lounge room. So Fair it's enough. just the sound of the disc. But when I was talking about noise levels, I'm talking about the fans in, all, in a standard computer. Yeah. True. So you don't want a video card that's got super powered fans on it and it's going to be really noisy and, and you know, it's going to interrupt yeah. the noise. So this moments. series is going to cover hardware choices mm -hmm. and then we're going to actually build it step by step and film that. Yep. And then we're going to look at players. Mm -hmm. And what else? Uh, software interface, media, right. Windows Media Center or Windows Vista with Media Center yep. and the players that we'll be using to play Blu-ray ROMs. Actually one of the no things I noticed, the camera we use to film all this, all these videos is a high definition camera and Blu-ray is the same file format as that so these players will also play that uh, file format. So right. it's high definition in general so not only the, uh, the players will play our Blu-ray ROMs but it's also going also to play all your new high definition home movies as well if you've got a Sony uh, Handicap. Right. Okay. Another, another, there's another feature we just thought of yeah. right then. And we'll also just cover Blu-ray in general, the technology, mm -hmm. how much you can fit on a burnt disc. You can use it for backups, not just for you know playing uh, BD ROMs. You can use yeah. it to back up your entire system because it's got such a huge storage space. So we'll cover all of that as well. And games as well. You we'll know, make sure the system's capable of playing a few games on your on your LCD TV, which could also be a uh, a PC monitor as well. Double right. as a PC monitor. 
lots of different things to explore in the next coming weeks. It will be a step-by-step -step guide on building this whole PC, talking about what you need, and so stay tuned. We'll see you next time. See ya.